Hey friends, this is Jagdish Aujja, your teacher, trainer, transformer, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about India's domestic air travel, which has exploded. Can you believe it? Believe it or not, on 30th of April 2023, 4,56,082 passengers have taken to the skies on 2,978 flights across the country. Huge! This is absolutely huge, and this. So, you know, milestone comes as no surprise as the post-pandemic economic recovery in our country is one of the most robust. We can see it from the GST figures, you know, which have been coming as well. So everywhere the demand seems to have exploded once again. People seem to have saved a lot of money and now want to travel it out rather than getting stuck like what happened during COVID. So this is has resulted in a 51.7% increase year on year and normally you know this sort of increase is not there because air traffic you know tends to grow at two times that is 200 percent of your gdp which is like you know eight percent seven to eight percent so you grow at 14 15 percent and that's how it was but according to aviation analyst mark martin this growth is a reflection of india's high economic growth and snowballing of pent-up demand also there has been a significant number of first-time flyers for the first time, up, up, up and away. So what are we seeing? You know, we, we do see that this is the good part of it. But the other bad part of this has been, of course, you know, the service has been slightly lacking and it gets to people, especially when flights are grounded and flights are being grounded because of non-availability of spares, especially Pratt and Whitney and, you know, some of these companies where some of the vendors have faced challenges. But in spite of this, the Tata Group, you know, owned Air India has announced 470 jets from Boeing and Airbus. And that is not a small order for this country itself. It is the biggest order for this whole world. And this sort of order has come in. So what do we see at the end of it? You know, in conclusion to this whole thing, yes, the industry is growing at leaps and bounds. But we need to look at, you know, in spite of the challenges of fuel, in spite of challenges of ATF prices, in spite of the, the challenges of the US dollar, which seems to, you know, not be falling in spite of so much of bad news and the banking crisis they're going through. So in spite of all this, our demand is good. But the DGCA needs to see that the service quality is maintained. So bottom line, service, you know, quantity uh, is not going to be given priority before quality. With that, this is Jagdish Shauja signing off. Click like, share and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.